Hi, my name is Justin Mark, and welcome back to the CNT Podcast. Today's episode is the Seattle Manos, so let's get right on into it. Catcher, you have Tom Murphy. First base, Evan White. Second base, Shed Long. Third base, Kyle Siegel. Shortstop, J.P. Crawford. Left field, Jake Frawley. Center field, Kyle Lewis. Right field, Mitch Hanegel. And D.H. Dylan Moore. Starting pitchers, you have Marco Gonzalez. Justice Sheffield, Yoshi Kikuchi, Justin Dunn, and James Paxton. In relief pitcher, you have Eric Swanson, Bruno Bre- Brandon Brennan, Keon Middleton, Aaron Fletcher, Joey Brubro, and Rafael Montero. And the prospects, you have Jared Kleenick, outfield, at the time of arrival 2021, Julio Rodriguez, outfield, at the time of arrival 2022, and Emerson Hancock, Right-hand pitcher, I was the main time arrival 2022. And what's great about this Manos team is those top three prospects are all top 100. A lot of them also, they have two more top 100 prospects who are not in their top three personally. So this is a very good young team with a lot of depth at, in prospects. So I think this is a very bright future for them. Uh, let's start off with what I like. Um, I love Kyle Lewis. Kyle Lewis is insanely good. I'm a huge Kyle Lewis fan. He was so fun to watch last year, won Rookie of the Year, well deserved in my opinion. He's so good, and I'm so excited to see him play more. I also really like Shed Long and Evan White. I think they're both young and can be good. A lot of people have shared with me that they don't believe that Shed Long is great and that they're one of the worst ball players they've seen at a major league level. I disagree with them. I think I don't think he's going to be anything special, but I think he can be a productive second baseman for the Manners, and I'm excited Excited to see a full season out of him. I also like Kyle Seager. He's been here for a long time. Gotten to watch him play. I've met him a few times. He's a super nice guy. J.P. Crawford, I'm a big J.P. fan. I think he can be super good. I just think he needs to develop his bat a little more. Easily a top 10 defensive shortstop in the league. Uh, I also really like Mitch Hanegel. He had a great year in 2018. Was a little injured up in 2019. As well as 2020, I think he's going to have a bounce back year. Maybe even be an all-star. Who knows? I also really like Marco Gonzalez and James Paxton. Super excited to have Paxton back in the Manor's blue. Really excited to see what he can do. I think he had a great year with us and then left to the Yankees and was just injured. And injured that almost the entire time and came back here. I'm hoping. I don't, I don't know. I'm hoping he has a bounce back year. I don't think he will. I feel like he will continue to be injury-prone like usual, but I'm hoping that he comes back better than ever. And so, yeah, this team, the relief pitching's not there at all. Uh, this is a good young team with great prospects. They can be great soon, but they have a very small chance at winning the division this year. They're going to be dangerous in like two to three years. And I think, I think their best shot's probably 2023, 2024. Uh, This is going to be a very good team in a few years, just watch out. But right now, it's going to be probably a bottom 15 team. But this is very young, with very good prospects. This team is going to be so good in four to five years. I cannot wait for that. Thank you all for watching today's episode. Make sure to tune in again tomorrow for another one.